guys welcome back to the channel this is our football we are live we have the final training session for the ghana black stars uh, tomorrow uh, the game kicks off at 7 p.m gmt here at the cape coast sports stadium the black stars have had uh, their pre-match press conference uh, coach Milo and the captain andrea you were at the pre-match press conference uh, and their strategy for tomorrow's game and everything they know what to do a win of any kind and ghana will be through to the next stage of qualifying which will be the playoff places we're going to look at the possible starting 11 and news concerning crowd a number of people that will be allowed into the stadium as usual subscribe if you have not uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates so as you all know tomorrow the all important game uh, we are going for the pre-match pre press conference for south africa right after here about the ghana black stars uh, tomorrow we'll have uh, 2500 fans at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium to cheer them on. Yes, um, still 25% capacity. We could not get the 5,000 we were thinking we could get. Uh, we have to make do with that. So 2,500 fans will have the privilege to be here at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium to watch the boys uh, try to get us to the next phase of qualification. Uh, the Black Stars, you know, uh, faltered in that game versus Ethiopia. It's all over. Uh, focus is on this one. South Africa themselves will have their 10 on this training ground right after the black stars and right after their pre-match press conference so uh, they will have a go at it uh, concerning the possible starting 11 i think uh, coach milo uh, will make two possible changes in that starting 11 uh, jojo walakot uh, will make his appearance once again the fourth one i think in the black stars jesse a uh, right back i don't think and though he was really poor versus ethiopia uh, will be able to be changed um, i think and uh, will stay there. Uh, Daniel Amate and Jiku, who will be returning after serving his suspension, will be in central defense. Uh, for the leg back, I expect Babaraman to maintain his place. Mubarak Wakasu is one I'm expecting to be introduced into the midfield along with Baba Idrisu. Kudus Mohamed uh, will continue ahead of those two. Andre Ayu and I think Jordan Ayu will be maintained for this game, though I would have preferred Fatao Isahaku uh, to start in his stead so and that will leave uh, the front up front i'm thinking kalebe kuban will start whether richmond bachi adam will be given another crack at it is also another matter altogether but that is my possible starting 11 for the game tomorrow all important game uh, all for grabs and we all know what happened the last time ghana played south africa for a world cup qualifying place in 2005 uh, south africa fought it ghana got a 2-0 win that helped us to get to our very first welcome we we're looking to make an appearance there in the playoff places first of all it's all to play for here tomorrow at the cape coast sports stadium sure to be a great game and you can show sure bring you live pictures reactions updates and everything you need to know on the channel subscribe if you have not uh, click on the notification bell uh, support a merch and the link is in the description sahara football merch i'll see you guys in the next one we'll have a look at the training session here today
Check the drone score line for me. Alright, come. Yeah, okay. 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 Yeah